I think most people out there who watch my channel know that when it comes to Second Amendment rights, I am a no compromise person. I do not believe in reasonable compromise, and I definitely don't believe in playing four-dimensional chess with anti-gunners. You cannot compromise with anti-gunners, and you cannot play four-dimensional chess with anti-gunners. Now, because of this position of mine, I've come under fire by certain people in the gun community, mostly the NRA and their shills like Hickok 45. They say, oh, people like you are just going to get our rights taken away because you're going to look unreasonable. And the people on the other side are going to be like, look, the gun owners are unreasonable, so therefore we just have to take their guns away. That's garbage. That's the goal of the anti-gunners to begin with, to take all guns away. That's their only goal. Their goal isn't to stop crime or prevent murder or anything like that. It's to disarm the population. And when that's their goal, no amount of compromise is going to make them happy. I don't care how much people like Hickok and them say, or the NRA say, oh, well, if they get bump stocks and other stuff, they'll feel that they'll think that's a victory and then they'll stop going after our guns. That's garbage. We have decade after decade after decade of proof that that's not the case. We've been compromising forever and getting nothing back from anti-gunners. In fact, every time they get a little victory, they think that that's a sign that they get a big victory towards their goal of total confiscation of firearms. That's their goal. And without them actually trying to stop a problem, you're not going to be able to reason with them. Because, like I said, they're just trying to reach a goal that's totally unreasonable. So this whole notion of you can compromise with them or you can play four-dimensional chess even and beat them at their own game is garbage. And you might say, well, why can't you play four-dimensional chess and beat them at their own game? Well, here's the thing about games. Games have to have rules. You have to have an agreed-upon way to get to a common goal in a game. And everyone has to play by the rules. Anti-gunners are not going to play by any rules. No matter how many times you say, well, <laughs> we'll give them this little thing that they want, that they say is going to stop crime, and then when it doesn't stop crime, they're going to have to admit they were wrong. And then we'll have a victory. That's garbage. That only works when two reasonable people are looking at things logically. Anti-gunners are not being reasonable. They want total disarmament. So they're going to say, if they ban ARs, they're going to say, well and crime doesn't go down, and violent crime doesn't go down, and mass murders don't go down, they're going to go, they're not going to say, well, I guess ARs didn't have anything to do with it. It really wasn't an inanimate object. They already know that. What they're going to say is, well, I guess we didn't go far enough. Now it's going to have to be all semi-automatic rifles. And then when people like the NRA give them that, saying, oh, well, if we give them that, they'll find out it doesn't help, uh, then we're going to sell, make a lot of money and take a lot of donations, uh, you know, the whole story there. Uh, once they see that doesn't work, they're not going to go, oh, well, I guess our whole premise is flawed. We'll just have to start over. No, they're going to say, well, we didn't go far enough. Now let's take away get all semi-automatic guns, pistols, rifles, whatever, and so on and so on. They're going to keep going until they reach their goal of total disarmament. That's their goal. Not stopping crime uh, and not, and when they see that what they're doing isn't stopping crime, they're not going to stop doing it because they don't care about the crime. Four-dimensional chess is garbage. People like the NRA, Hickok 45, all those shills that believe in reasonable compromise or banning bump stocks and red flag laws and all this garbage to make us look reasonable are shills. And either they're morons or they think you're a moron and they're using these smoke screens to make you think they've got a plan when they don't, well, they have a plan to make a lot of money off surrendering our rights. But other than that, they're doing nothing. So compromise does nothing. We have been compromising forever. We are not at a happy medium, and we're not trying to reach a happy medium. The medium was way back, and the anti-gunners didn't stop coming when we reached that medium. They're still coming because they want total disarmament. And no matter how much chess you try to play with them, it doesn't matter. If they're not playing by the rules, and they don't care about the rules, all they care about is total disarmament, they're just going to keep going and going and going. Every victory you give them sets precedent for another victory, and it solidifies things in the courts more and more, making them harder to overturn. So compromise is not something we should be doing. Four-dimensional chess is something no one can even do with anti-gunners. And if anyone says that to you, look them straight in the face and say, you're a lying shill. And I have to figure out why you're lying to me. Is it because you're padding your pockets off of the fear uh, and off of the game? That's probably the answer. So when it comes to gun rights, I am no compromise. And I don't apologize for that. Compromise gets us nowhere. We've been compromising. And as far as four-dimensional chess, that doesn't exist in this situation. Like I said, anyone that tells you that is just full of 
shit. So if you're someone that believes those people that tell you they're playing four-dimensional chess or believes in reasonable compromise, I suggest you reevaluate your position. Because with the anti-gunners, they have one agenda in mind, and that is taking all your guns, and they're not going to be happy until they do that. So there is no compromise, and there is no beating them at their own game, because they don't care about the rules, and they're not going to follow them. Thank you.